heard about the 40 hour week. <laughs> Louise, do you mind doing your cleaning somewhere else? Mr. Williams, by a strange coincidence, it seemed like all the dirt centers around you. <laughs> Look, I'll clean it up later myself, Louise. Will you just leave me alone now? I'm trying to get a routine for the Sullivan Show. Every time I go on with Ed Sullivan, I just stand there and do a monologue. I'd like to do something new this time. Mr. Williams, if I were you and I had to go on the Sullivan Show, you know what I'd do? What would you do? I'd head right for that piano. I'd head just like so. And I'd sit down. And I'd give it all I got, just like spoon. I'm gonna sit right down Louise. and write myself a letter. Louise, with your yes! Oh. And make me leave it from you. Louise, would you stop? I'm gonna write I got you words. so sweet. Louise, I'm gonna knock you off your feet. Louise! <laughs> I spoke. You're not going on the Sullivan Show. I am. Well, what do you know about that? <laughs> I'm a has-been. <laughs> also, no help. Oh, uh, Mr. Wynn, I'll just make a little joke. We could use a few laughs. I'm sorry, Louise. I'm just a little edgy today. Today? What about yesterday, the day before that, and the day before all right, that? All right, all right. <laughs> Mr. Wade, you know I am really getting worried about you. You haven't been eating right, and you haven't been sleeping good, and you're going to keep right on, and one of these days, your nerves are going to go bang! <laughs> All right. And then, then you're going to see little green men popping out of the woodwork. <laughs> okay, it's okay, okay. All right. Hmm. How about a coffee break, honey? Thank you, sweetheart. Mm, no ideas yet? Uh, a lot of ideas. It's not any good. I'm not gonna do it. I don't care what anybody says. I won't do it. Nobody's gonna make me. I'm just not gonna do it. You're not going to do what? I'm not gonna be a brain surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a blow to the medical world. <laughs> Pretty soon you're going to run out of professions. Already, you're not going to be a lawyer, a submarine commander, a delegate to the United Nations, and a goalie on the New York Rangers. <laughs> what made you change your mind about becoming a doctor? Mom, do you know how much school you have to go to before you can become a doctor? Besides high school, there's college. After college, there's medical school. And after medical school, you have to be an intern in a hospital. I'd be an old man before I could pull my first tonsil. <laughs> I'd like to worry Thanks about to you. Thanks to the door, okay. Oh, hi, Uncle Phil. Hi, Russ. Hi, everybody. Well, uh, if it isn't my illustrious agent. Yeah. My, aren't we sporty today? Well, I got a very important business appointment. What? Dressed like that? Hmm? Oh, those are his work clothes, honey. <laughs> my agent doesn't work in his office. He works on a golf course. <laughs> I see you are your usual smiling self today. Now, don't pick on our boy. He's in a very bad mood today. And how does that make this day any different from any other? <laughs> what big uh, business transaction takes you to the links today? You have some earth-shaking decision to make, like how many olives to put in a martini? Do <laughs> you think I am meeting in a half hour on the first tee? Sam Sneed. Ed Sullivan? <laughs> and what do you think I'm going to be talking to Ed Sullivan about? Golf. Mm -hmm. About your spot on his show. I get a better idea. Don't talk about the spot. Find the spot. Look, Danny, get on the ball, will you? You've got to wrap this spot up so I can get away on my vacation. <laughs> <laughs> you just got back from three weeks in Miami Beach. That was my winter vacation. This is spring. <laughs> Excuse me. Look, Dan, you've got to work hard on this. This spot is very important to you. If it comes off well, Sullivan may offer us another six guest shots for next year. And do you know what that'll mean to your career? What? It'll mean that I can spend the summer in the Riviera. <laughs> Russ, you were worried about what to be when you grow up. That's it. Forget about being a scientist or anything else. Become an agent. It's a cinch. All you gotta do is get some poor hook-nosed schnook to do the work. <laughs> and you spend the rest of your life lying out in the sun, 
and smearing your body with chicken fat. <laughs> Uncle Phil, hmm? how what? many years of college does it take to be an agent? How many? Well, uh, uh, Russ, tell you the truth, I, um, I never got around to college. Why don't you tell the real truth? You never got around to high school. <laughs> don't be such a wise guy. I went to high school. Yeah, for how long? Well, I went. What? Why bother with details? <laughs> Daddy, I don't get it. How can Uncle Phil be your agent and handle all your business deals and get 10% of all your earnings if he never even finished high school? Because he never even finished grammar school. <laughs> <laughs> well, gotta go now. Hey, wait, Uncle Phil, right. I'll go down the elevator with you. I'd like to hear more about the agent business. Sounds like my type of career. <laughs> Mom, Mom, is Dad home? No, dear, not yet. Good, good. Come on in. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Mom? Yes. This is Olympia, Leon, Charmaine, and Jonathan Silver. You remember them. They sang at the PTA last month. Oh, yes, and you were just wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. On behalf of my clients, I thank you. <laughs> Your client? Yes, I'm their agent. <laughs> and I'm Rusty's assistant. His assistant agent? Yeah. And what's he paying you? Nothing, I'm just doing it for the experience. <laughs> what kind of a mood is Dad in? Well, he still hasn't worked out his spot for the Sullivan Show. Does that answer your question? Well, that's what I wanted him to see about. He can use my clients on the Sullivan Show. Oh, Rusty, I wouldn't do that. I don't think he should see your clients until he's in a better mood. Well, could you soften him up for us? Hmm, not right now, darling. I wouldn't even try. Hmm. Maybe Linda could do it. Me? What can I do? What can you do? Use your feminine charm. Okay. Where is it? <laughs> It won't work for us. Right now, he's like a bear with a sore paw. And if he comes home here and sees a lot of children waiting to audition for him, the roof could cave in. Yeah, you're right. Well, you, well, you better scram until we can get him in a better mood, and I'll let you know what we have. Come on. Bye-bye, children. You can come back again sometime. Come on, get in here. Hurry up. <laughs> We're in trouble. What's the matter? Daddy's just getting off the elevator. Oh, dear. Mom, you've got to help us. Well, what can I do? Get Daddy out of the room so they can scram out the door. Hide, kids. Go. Hurry up. Uh, Olympia. Uh, come in there. Russell, 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 listen to me. Listen. Wouldn't it be much better to take them all out of here? Come on out, kids. Oh, too late, too late. Too oh, hello, darling. What's the matter with you? <laughs> is it wrong for a wife to kiss her husband? Like that it is. <laughs> Don't be so grumpy. In front of the kids and everything. <laughs> oh, honey, I'll, I'll hang those up for you. There we are, sweetheart. Right there. I could have done that. <laughs> Darling, uh, why don't you come out in the kitchen with me a moment and I'll get you a nice bowl of hot soup. You I don't want any hot tired. soup. Oh, go have yeah. some hot soup. Oh, oh, I don't want any hot soup. Oh. Will you leave me alone, please? My head is just swimming. Oh, honey, you should definitely have some soup then. It's noodle soup, good for the noodle. <laughs> <laughs> please, brother, don't make jokes, huh? If your kids really love me, you'll go up to your room and don't bother me. I've got to relax for a minute, please, if you don't mind. I tell you, my nerves are on edge. If I don't have a breakdown, it'll be a Run miracle. Around, children. I'll take care of everything. I'm going to lie down for a while, honey. Oh. <laughs> Isn't this cozy? Honey, do you mind getting your elbow out of my ear? It's a very large apartment. Couldn't you sit somewhere else? Oh, well, honey. Let me lie down for oh, a few Oh, Wendy, why don't you go up and lie down in your I would room like to you... lie down here if it's all right with everybody. Who's who? 
under the coffee table. <laughs> what kid, darling? What do you mean, what kid? Don't you see the kid under the coffee table here? Uh, coffee table? Who's yeah, this little about? kid right here. See? Oh. Hello, little girl. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Who's that little girl, honey? What little girl, darling? <laughs> What do you mean, what little girl? Little girl came out from under the coffee table there. And she probably ran out of the place. Didn't you see her? Uh, no. <laughs> now, don't tell me you didn't see that one. What what? <laughs> Kathy, there was a little girl come out from under the coffee table. A little boy came out from under the piano there. Honey, why don't you let me get you that soup? <laughs> oh, now, come on, baby. What's the matter with you, Kathy? You mean to tell me you didn't see a kid come up under the table there? And I... <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> I don't see anything at all. I, I just got kind of a little headache. I think I'll go upstairs and lie down for a while. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! for you, and I didn't want you to be disturbed. <laughs> Russell Williams? On business. Oh, well, send him in. Rusty. Hi, Uncle Phil. Hello, Rusty. What brings you down here? Well, Uncle Phil, I've decided to become an agent. Oh, when did you make that decision? Yesterday. Uh-huh. Well... Welcome to the clan. Thank you. Sit down. Oh. What can I do for you? Well, Uncle Phil, I need some advice. And I figured you could give it to me, you having been in the business longer than I have. <laughs> yeah, you might say I got a week or two on you. <laughs> and uh, what can I tell you about the agent business? How to be one. Oh, yeah. Well, um, the most important thing an agent does is to collect his 10%. <laughs> <laughs> this is really very simple. You grab hold of the check before your client can get his hands on it, you take your cut, send him the rest, and that, in a nutshell, is the agency bill. <laughs> Come around again sometime, Russ. Wait, Glenn. Uncle Phil, wait, oh. wait, wait. I haven't got around to the collecting part yet. What I'd like to know is how you get a person to hire your clients. Oh, yeah, well, that's a very good question, Russ. You, you got to understand that this business that we're in, you and I, this is a, a jungle. And you're gonna be a ruthless, cunning, heartless tiger. Really? Yeah, you gotta stalk your prey, chase them. And when you get them into a corner where they can't escape, you sink your fangs into them. Grrr! <laughs> and that's how you get them to hire your clients? You sink your fangs into them? Grrr! Yes. <laughs> See, son, you, you gotta play it cool. For instance, if a, if a guy says, uh, Williams, uh, I'd like to meet your clients, you don't say, oh, boy, oh, boy, I'll go get them right away. No, you say, well, we're very busy, but if I happen to be in the neighborhood, we'll try to drop in. And suppose you know that he wants to offer you a job. What you do is you go out and you hustle up another job so that when he makes his offer, you can say to him, well, sorry, old man, previous commitment. First thing you know, he's down on his knees begging you to take more money. You got him cornered. Yeah. And then, grrrr. You sink your fangs in. That's horrible. What a 
business. Yeah. Say, Uncle Phil, what? would you listen to my clients? You got clients already? Uh-huh. Four of them. Singers. Well, how about that? I'm sorry, Russ. I'm a little busy today. Maybe some other time. Oh, Uncle Phil, please. It'll only take five minutes. Rusty, you ran in on my busiest day. Oh, <laughs> please. We'll go anywhere. We'll audition on any golf course you say. <laughs> a bird with feathers of blue is waiting for you. Right back in your own backyard. You see your castles in Spain through your window pane. Right back in your own backyard. You are a genius. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, you're a wonderful kid. Daddy, are you going to use them on the Sullivan Show? You bet okay. I am. Oh, good. Run along, kids, and I'll get in touch with you later. Take care yeah, of yourself. That's a great idea. <laughs> oh, this is wild. Right yeah. after I rib the kids about how, they, how they're spoiled and pampered, and I bring these kids that's down the and show them. Yeah. Call, call Sullivan right I away. I call Sullivan's all taken care of. Yeah. i got to send some contracts over to him. Rusty, where do they live? <laughs> I'm not telling. <laughs> what do you mean, you're not telling? Nobody's discussed this deal with me yet. Oh. Look, stop playing games, huh? Tell us where they live and go out and play. What do you mean, go out and play? I'm their agent. You what? I own 10% of that group. You don't stop fooling around. 10% of you isn't going to be feeling too good. <laughs> no, he's right, Danny. He is their agent. What are you talking about? Yeah, he's their agent. He brought them over to my office. He, he showed me the act, and I taught him how to be an agent. <laughs> So he's, he's entitled to at least the courtesy of a little discussion. There is such a thing as professional ethics. Yeah, such a thing as second childhood, too, which you're going through right now. <laughs> Just be quiet and watch how an agent handles an agent. I'd rather show you how a father handles a son. Now, Williams, as you probably have gathered, we, uh, we like your clients, and I think we'd like to use them on the Sullivan Show. Good, good. Now, as you understand, the Sullivan Show is a very big opportunity for these kids. Yep. Very popular show, and they're very lucky to get on. Yep. All right, I want you to have them there at 12 o'clock on the 19th. Nope. And I... <laughs> what do you mean, no? They're booked for another job on that date. For what? <laughs> what do you mean, booked for another job? Well, after you heard them, we, we went back to the park, and I told the director how much you liked them. And he said he could use them in the benefit. You see, our, our baseball team is putting on a benefit to try and raise money for new uniforms. So you can't have them for the Sullivan Show. Would you like me now to show you how a father handles a son? <laughs> oh, wait a I know what the kid is trying to do, but don't try to sell me the idea that you let him do some cockamamie benefit instead of the Sullivan Show. I'm sorry. I gave my word. I promised they'd appear. I can't go back on my word. An agent has to have integrity, you know. Honey. <laughs> that's very interesting. So that's how an agent handles an agent, huh? <laughs> Look, Russ, don't give me that stuff. I know about the integrity thing, and I gotta keep my word, too. I promised they'd be on the Sullivan Show on the 19th. I'm sorry, Uncle Phil, but I can't help that. Wait a minute. You can't get away with this young fella. You haven't got me over a barrel. You can't represent them. You're too young. It isn't legal. Legal, Schmeagel. They do everything I say. Danny, talk to your son. <laughs> I certainly will. Russ, how'd you like to be my agent? <laughs> what are you trying to do to me? Growl! <laughs> you should have figured, growl. 
You mean you understand, growl? <laughs> well, sure, that's agent's talk. Who's that, sir? Yeah. In this particular instance, it means if a certain party would be willing to buy the uniforms for our baseball team, then there wouldn't be any need of a benefit. Then a certain party could have a certain act for a certain television show. <laughs> I taught him pretty good, didn't I? <laughs> you certainly did, certain party. <laughs> Yeah, well, Russ, you didn't have to do this. We'd have been glad to give you the uniforms. After all, you brought us the act. That's the least we could have done for you. You would? Why, sure. certainly. You don't have to go through all that trouble. Oh, of course God. not, you silly kid. <laughs> Look, I'll get the contracts over to them. Where do they live, Russ? You know, come to think of it, my bicycle's becoming pretty dilapidated. <laughs> <laughs> and come to think of it, Johnny Rubin got a beautiful motor scooter for his birthday last month. You know, and come to think of it, all my life I've wanted to spank an agent. <laughs> I got 10% of your action. Oh, no! <laughs> Of course, I'm really kidding about the children today. I think it's wonderful that they have opportunities. And why shouldn't they start on the top if they have the chance, especially if they have the talent? And speaking of that, here are the four angels. Come on out here, kids. Choo-choo me home. 